What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring, and I have some terrible, terrible news. I've been a Sony user forever, and I've never experienced any issues, but over the week, my hard drive exploded on my PlayStation. Just <laughs> exploded. And lost all of my progress in every game I'm playing right now. <laughs> I decided to take that as a challenge and an opportunity to train up on my build a little bit. So I defeated all the bosses I've beaten so far. I've beaten Morgoth. I beat Godric. I am the Lord. I've beaten the Moon Queen. And a slew of somewhat less important bosses, but you know, hey, who cares? But, time to get back into it, as we journey forth in Elden Ring. Ooh! Like I said, we're right here. Right at the Academy. And I've been a busy man. I've been a very busy man. I got all this done in the last, like, two days. So a pardon for the delay in uploading. But the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the Divine Tower. Because we need to upgrade our greater rune that we've got. Alright. We've made it to the top of the tower in Lindgrave. So, if you've never upgraded your runes, which, good lord, do it if you're playing Elden Ring. Um, but it's kind of an out-of-the-way thing, so I get if you're not like a big player why you never know. But once you get the runes from the bosses, you have to go to their respective powers, and you gotta restore the power. So, yeah, we got Godric's great rune, and we can put it on whenever we want to, which is awesome. So, I'll show you where his great rune is. Do, 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 do. There's his great rune. So, we've got Godric's great rune, raise all attributes, Look at that! We got it! So we can use that, or equip it, whenever we need to. So, great news! We've got ourselves a great rune! Hooray! Alright, so we're here. We've also got a friend. Uh, if you've never gotten to this point. This guy is the, uh, basically the next step in the Blythe quest line. Um, if you talk to him about Blythe, he gives you some stuff. You can also strengthen your weapons here. Right now I'm at plus 11 and plus 13. Uh, I still need a couple more smithing stone fours, and then I need all the fives. So, I want to go in here for fun, because this is awesome. I know we've got a couple of big bosses that we need to get to, for sure. But first, we do some exploring, because I like this area, and it's fun to do. Ooh, no thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> get up damn, baby. Woo! I love Torrent, by the way. He's so good. He's the best horse. The best horse. Ooh, look how cool it looks over there. Ooh, by the way, I got to the Three Sisters. I know I need to do some stuff there. I will do the Three Sisters. They're right there. Um, but yeah, Rhea Lucario, look how awesome it is. Sweet! So carry a manor. We can get some upgrade stuff here. And we can also fight some hands. <laughs> We're gonna throw hands, baby. Look at them. Look how gross they are. They have gross hands. And they have big hands. But we're strong enough that we can easily deal with the hands. Oh! I shouldn't have spoken so soon! Hands! Oh, hands! Oh! <laughs> Man! <laughs> I deserved it. I ran in there so cocky. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen them come at me so aggressively before. Oh, that got me so good. I shouldn't I shouldn't have been so cocky with the hands. Oh my straight back handed me. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. Message received. Hands aren't messing around. <laughs> there they are. So I wonder if I can just lure them out with a kukri. Let's give him a little kukri. Let's give him a little kukri toss. Oh! Can I get you, friend, to come forth? Oh, he's sticking his middle finger out at me, and he's shooting his goop. Keep your goop to yourself, sir. I don't want any of your goop. Whee! Whoa! Oh, he's, he's getting his skitters. I got blood. I got blood. He can't reach me. Oh, that's so nice that he got stuck. 
The hands are so gross, dude. Woo! I love the blood. I've gotten a lot better at using the blood. A lot better at it. Ooh! I say as I miss. Oh, he running. Oh, he running, baby! Yeah, these weapons are pretty good now, which is nice. Wouldn't it be great if they just gave you giant rings? Like, you get a ring that you can wear as a hat. <laughs> They're giant hands, man. Come on, give us some silly stuff, Elden Ring. We want silly. Okay, there's my runes. Jeez, those hands didn't need to be so grumpy with me. Ooh, some garbage smithing stones. I need fours and fives. That's where I'm at my smithing stone journey, not twos anymore. That's fine. Golden Rune four. Ooh, who's, who's coming? Oh, get out of here. Have some blood. Oh my goodness. That backhand is robust. <laughs> Take my strong hand, baby. Oh, come on. Ooh, he gets so stuck easily. Oh, he's alive still. I thought he was going to get him. Ooh. He heals. Right in front of the hands. And then we slice him. We get the hands. <laughs> Alright, cool. Can I go through that door? Or is it locked from the other side? I feel like most of the doors in this game are locked from the other side. That's just the way they want to be. That's just the way they be, baby. Now I'm going to be so panicked about all of the jump scares. This game has like a million little jump scares in it. Where you walk around a corner and there's a million enemies. Like a lot of times... I don't know if we'll see... Yeah, look, there's one right there. That's a trap. You see him? Hidden right there? That's his little fingertips. He's waiting for us to go in there. We ain't gonna do that. I ain't getting in your fingertips. Boy! How could I not target him? But this one... Come on down, spider hand. Come to Papa spider hand. How did I miss you with my slashes? With my slashes. <laughs> oh, slashes. Alright, bud. Next guy. Ooh, and look at his friends back there. Did you see them? Did you see his large friend? Come on. Oh, he's set, he's shooting, shooting his goo at me. Ooh. No! He's whacking! Ooh, I missed with my blood. Oh, don't be pushing me around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I've died! No, oh, little hand, I'm not interested in your business. Big hand, I'm not interested in your business either. I'm interested in no hands business. <laughs> Give me no business hands. Oh, <laughs> he's right behind me. I know he is. Oh, he's coming. You know what? I'm going to grab these real quick. These are mine. These are my souls. Don't take them. Have some blood and heal. Oh, he backhanded me. Oh, he done backhanded me. <laughs> Got him. Tiny hand. You're not welcome. Ooh, what a saga. We made it through. What's over there? Friend? Oh, that just seems like a bunch of death. What's going on, dead man? Ooh, dead man. Are you going to lure me into getting murdered by something? Lady Ronnie, we have long awaited you. Pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Carrier. Oh, may it indeed. Uh, Ronnie is going to be our girlfriend, even though she's a terrible, terrible person. So, whatever. <laughs> That's the way Elden Ring is. There's a lot of terrible people. <gasps> Smithy Stone 4! I need those! I'm so close to leveling up my stuff to plus 12. Ooh. And then I don't need any more Smithy Stone 4s, because I think I'm going to try to go through this whole dang game with these stupid blades. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm getting used to them. Ooh, the ghost zone. Ghost zone. And I swear there's so many messages that are like finger buttholes. To be fair, it's a Dark Souls staple. <laughs> gotcha, ghost. Gotcha. Look, crap. Crap. So it's nice that they at least show you the trap on the ground. That is nice. They show you the little sword and they're like, Oh yeah, you're gonna get exploded, friend. I promise you, you're gonna get exploded. <gasps> he came up behind us. The leap attack. <laughs> Ooh. He hurt me. I don't like it. Leap. 
He tried to block us. Psh. Psh. Sorry if that was really loud with my psh. Quiet psh. <laughs> oh, he's so far away. Oh, he's throwing his crossbows. And we leap. Oh, we dodge. I like this leap attack. I've never done it before, but it's so fun. Oh, look how many of them there are. No thanks, brother. I don't want any of your business. Especially since they give me like a hundred souls. You're like, Psh, that's not worth it, dude. I mean, sorry. Runes. <laughs> Soon I'll be calling them blood echoes, I swear. <laughs> FromSoft games do this to me, alright? They're all souls, dang it. That's the way they are. Bye! I know I can go down that little sneaker terry over there. I might do it if I seem to be finding it fit. Alright. And we're in here. Yeah. Lost Grace. You know, let's rest. Why not? We only got 5k. So we can't exactly level up. Um, but you know, we got stirf. <gasps> Golden seed? Oh, I know that giant wolf is, is not a friend. Oh, look at other wolf. Wolf, would you like to meet my jump attack? <laughs> oh, he did want to meet my jump attack. Ooh, the bleed. 370 souls, man. This is this is not a bargain. You got to give me more souls than this. I'm just going to sneak. I don't want any of your business. Really. There's no point in killing those things if they're just going to give me 370 souls. We're at level 66, I think. 370 old ain't doing nothing for us. Sorry, 370 <laughs> rooms ain't doing nothing for us. I swear, from soft. <gasps> Hello. Oh, I almost rode him. I know you're gonna jump, and once you once the puppy dogs get jumping, they are a very mobile bunch. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Got you, Pippi dog. Got you, Pippi. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Is there a delicious treat over there? No, there's not. There's just messages. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the, I'll take the stuff. Ugh. I love this game so much. And to be fair, I am going to have a really, really hard time doing a streamlined playthrough through of this because, like. It's just fun. Everything about this game is just fun. It's so fun to do. Uh, I don't know what it says about me that I love punishing games, but these games are so fun. And this is like the least um, handholdy game in the FromSoft experience because usually they give you like a path-ish. You know, they're like, here's a path-ish that you need to follow. Um, and in this game, they're just like, hey man, do whatever you want to do. I don't know why I went Dale Gribble on it. Hey man, do whatever they want to do, damn <laughs> damn. Whatever you want to do, you should remember. <laughs> Mumbles. Oh, thanks, buddy. Um, so that guy. That guy's fine. That guy's annoying. We don't really want to deal with his skis because his skis is gross. He's got gross skis. Oh, hey, friend. I didn't realize you're coming over. Thanks for your skis. Oh, he woke up. Goodbye, friend. Ooh, a little shooty McGavin. Hello, friend. Don't mind if I shaklow. Ooh, another shooty McGavin. Oops. Missed a lot of them, but we still got them. That's the nice part about having very upgraded weaponry. Pretty sure I need to go through that door back there. Ooh, I know what that is. I'm pretty sure that there's a boss encounter in there. Horse boss, right? Horse boss man. Horse boss. All right, who's going to try to kill me? Who's trying to kill me? No one? Ah. <laughs> what am I doing with my life over here? Oh, it's a jumpy downy to get down to Potland. Uh, I don't really want to go to Potland. I want to get my stuff pushed in by a boss. That sounds bad. Oh, that just sounds so fun. Let's go fight Horseman. Horseman? Come at me, horse. There he is. I told you. Ah, oh, horse man. Oh, he's he's blasting me. It would be nice if I could summon my horse, dude. You know, 
Nope. No thanks. Oh, he's got all his mage. Get your magic out of here. How bloody are you? How blood capable? Ooh, you take some blood damage. Come on, buddy. Hit me with your soul. Hit me with your soul if you can hit me. Man, he just really likes casting. It would be great if bosses had the, the fup meters that we had. You know? Or fups. But they don't care about fups. Big blood. Nope. Oh, give me a sword. Wards. Nope. Blood. Oh, I missed him. Don't do heal. Why not? Leaf. <laughs> I missed him. So much I missed. <laughs> Who did I turn into there? So much I missed. <laughs> I missed the horse. So much. <laughs> Ooh, need to watch out. Don't do it. Just a little quick heal. Look at Itchy Nose. Itchy Nose. Itchy Nose. Oh. Oh, he's got more swords now. Oh, and he's got the bow of justice. No thanks. Oh, he, he gave me the little look back smack attack. Come on. Come on. Oops, I mistimed that really badly. Okay, I need to get a little closer to him because he's just going to pepper me. Whoa, pepperage. Pepperage Farm remembers. Pepperage Farm. Stop remembering. How did you hit me? How did he hit me? Oh, he's he, this is getting a little heated. Ooh, but maybe I can make it a little less heated if I do that a little better. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, come on, buddy. Ooh, dodge. Again. Ooh, yes. First try, Royal Knight Loretta. I'll take your great bow and your slash. Ooh, that felt good. He was gonna... He's tough, man. 17... See, seriously, like 17k? You're sitting there and you're like, meh. Meh. Uh, meh. It's not really worth it. So this thing right here is like the symbol of the mana users. It's like the star collector majiblet. Um, and usually there's little star fragments underneath it. But over here... We're getting nothing. <laughs> Regret. <laughs> I get you, man. I'm regretting coming up here, too. That's fine. Oh, I still got a bad case of the itchy nose. What's going on with that, brother? All right, so we came from there, right? Yes. But now, back door. <laughs> Before I smash a chair. Um, ooh, yes. Yes. So they were at the true, the true three sisters. Which is where we need to go to get to the ending that we want to get to. Because we want to get to Ronnie's ending. Because it just makes me happy. Running Ronnie's ending makes me happy. I love Ronnie. She's sweet. And she's a horrible person. <laughs> like, legit. Uh, but, you know, in Elden Ring, you gotta pick and choose your battles. And sometimes it's a little bit nicer to pick your battles when you got a golf wind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Having a golf wind is not so bad. Even if she's got four arms, and she's kind of murdered some people. But, you know, meh. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Ooh, hello, ball of friends. What you got in ya? Chilling mist. Mmm. Can't wait to not use it. I'm kind of stuck with this Ash of War right now because I feel like I've gotten pretty used to it playstyle-wise. Uh, oh, hi, buddy. This dragon... It's not worth fighting him. He comes back again later, and you're kind of sitting there and you're like, well, whatever. Like, I could fight you, but you leave before I can kill you. It's kind of worthless. I doubt. I pity doubt. Ronnie's rise. Yes, indeed. Ugh. And the dragon is still after us. Adula, I don't really need any of your business. I didn't rest at that side of grace either. Whoops. But here we go. Extra side of grace. Uh, I'll rest here just to get my hups and my pups. <laughs> my HP and my FP. <laughs> great runes. Let's put this on. I totally forgot to do that. Great rune. Godric's great rune. In order to actually get it, we need to um, use a rune arc. But we're not going to put it on quite yet. Really, I try to put them on if I'm like having a, if I'm having a hard time. <laughs> because they go away once you die. 
And if you're not really doing anything, you're just kind of walking around and doing some stuff like which is what I'm doing right now. It's not really worth the risk of losing a rune arc because they kind of are rare and they get a little sponsor. You got to find the right people to buy them from. Um, I have a bunch of them, I'm pretty sure right now, but either way. Oh, <gasps> Ronnie. Again, we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? Oh, I Ronnie. have no memory of inking thee an invitation. <laughs> She's like, fool, I, I didn't invite you. Particular, intriguing. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my s I am the witch yes. Ronnie. I stole death long ago and search now for the dark that I might one day upend the whole of it. Mm -hmm. And rid the world of all that's well. Has that roused thy interest? Uh, yeah, I dude. See. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted yeah, the offer. She's not the nicest. But I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Okay, well, great. Good. What you need, baby? Then there is in my service. A half woven warrior by the name of Blythe. Blythe! I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal city. Mm -hmm. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., e my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor Elevis. in the sorceress. Salavis is lame! Heed not their peculiarities. <laughs> Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I'm sure the others will be doing just the same. Oh, I'm sure they will. Speak with the three who are with thou needs. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer. All right, cool. So we got Ronnie. Ronnie's a baby. Well, I shouldn't say we've got Ronnie. Ronnie's got us now. Because we are serving Ronnie. Because I feel like that's a fun end to the game. It changes up a lot of the stuff. I won't spoil it for you guys, but this is the quest that is going to lead us to the end of the game. Don't worry, we're not that close. <laughs> we still got a lot of stuff to do. Hey, bud. Hey, so remember that giant blacksmith I showed you at the beginning of the episode? Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Eiji, Eiji. the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counsel. I am told that you are searching for Nokron. Yeah. Blai. I will give you whatever guidance I can. Well, give me some guidance, baby. My apologies for the misleading words. <laughs> I never imagined that an audience, let alone service, I, for one, should have seen it. Do forgive me. Let of us course I forgive you. Can of ourselves together. Together, buddy. Let us together. All right, so we do, he doesn't tell us anything. Surprise. I never really listened to him, but, you know, I like to hear his story. Bly. He's my boy. Mm. How awesome time, he is. Friend. Blythe. If you forgot never him, forget. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. Heck yeah. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron. Lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Okay, so I know where he is I'm in Nokron. See if I can't. Don't or not in to. Nokron, but I know where he is in that area. Um, so we'll go there and we'll start the Nokron quest. This dude. I see. You must be Rani's new. Oh, family. I see. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. <laughs> I am Salavis. Yes. Preceptor in the sorceress. I don't All know right. what it is the mistress sees in a provincial, but since we have the misfortune <laughs> of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. What a jerk. Can you imagine? I wish I could kill him. Right now. It would save me some time. In another tower close oh, by. do you? Come and pay me a visit. He does Should live in one of the towers. Wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani. If it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. <laughs> Can you imagine a jerk I talking to you like that? Against the wishes of my lady. I'm sitting here. I'm like, hey, I may be foul, tarnished, baby, but you can't talk to talk to me like that. 
Talk to me like that, I'll kick you. Kick you with my sword. I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you with my swords. <laughs> That's how people threaten each other, right? <laughs> For people who don't know me, I'm quite possibly the least threatening dude. Uh, so yeah, you know, it, it tracks that I have absolutely no idea how to threaten people. <laughs> oh man, I like that though. I'm gonna kick you with my sword. <laughs> Don't make me kick you with my sword. Alright, so there's nothing down there, it's blocked off, whatever. I'm gonna go run by... Man, there's so many invisible walls. Can I please? In What's my invisible wall? What is this? Why am I invisible walled? Let me out! Let me out! What, what's going on? How come I'm invisible walled? I'd like to talk to you. I'll come and pay me, should you, if it were up, but who? Yeah, I'd love to do that. Let me invisible wall out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna watch this. Oh, I'm not allowed to? I'm stuck? Oh no. What am I stuck with? Do I need to go talk to Ronnie again? Why am I invisible walled? Live. See if I can't. Don't keep me waiting. Nah, dude, I ain't trying to keep you waiting. Believe me, baby. I ain't trying to keep you waiting. I'm trying to get the heck out of here. All right. So, cool. can I rest here? <laughs> Will that let me go? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, now it's open. All right, cool. Weird. But it's like, no, you gotta rest. Take a nap. <laughs> Take a dang nap. Think about what you're doing. Okay, so they're all gone. That's what it's doing. It's loading them into the rest of the world. Alright, hi dogs. Don't, don't bark at me. I'm gonna go talk to Megagus Megagus over here because he's rude. And I just want to continue his quest line just because it's kind of fun to continue all of Ronnie's helper's quests. Uh, get a complete story with the Ronnie stuff, you know? Nice to get a complete story. And she's one of the ones where you can get like a full story of it. Um, I like that. I like doing that, you know? It's the life I like to live. If you can't tell, I really like to complete games. It's a problem I have, and I don't know why, but it's so fun to complete games. <gasps> I'm gonna show you a secret. Real quick. Oh, maybe I won't show you a secret real quick. <laughs> Alright, line it up. Um, for the longest time, people were curious about where to find Blythe's armor. No? Oh, it's right there. Uh, but, you know, if I don't fall off, I'll I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you where you can find Blight's armor. And look at the jerk, he's right in there. I wish I could attack you forever. Oh my lord. I am just flopping around. Tor torrent? Torrent, my boy? Alright, let's just jump off here. And let's grab this so we don't dwarf it up. Yeah, his mask. So, if you wanted to... Not that you'd want to with this beautiful duck face of ours, but you can put on Blythe's mask. Look at that. You can be Daug. <laughs> What's the way? What, how is it compared to it? Wow, it's better in every way. You know what? We might be Blythe for a second because it's kind of funny. Hey, right, Blythe, I've got your head. <laughs> I've got your head, Blythe. <laughs> I do enjoy being Duck Man, though. Uh, duck Man. Hey, Celibus. Well, well, did you not mm -hmm. realize I was merely being What a jerk. Uh, perhaps I'll give you... I'd like you to find a woman <laughs> called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that. Good. Now I shall handle... Find Nefeli. I expect. So... If we do that, there's some consequences. So we're probably not going to do that because I think he's kind of a jerk and I don't really like anything that he does. But we'll see what mood we're in. Because <laughs> uh, I just think that he's a jerk. Um, but basically with all this Ronnie stuff, now we know where we need to go, what we need to do. Memory stone, I don't need them. I just get them. <laughs> really, though. So if you remember... Man, I wish I could get a good view of this. I guess I could go down here. Yeah. Um, so the Yerni of the Lakes, right? Right over here. Um, and if you looked up into the star or into the sky, you saw the four belfries and then you saw this whole area way tucked away. Um, and it's just it's awesome that so much of this game is literally just tucked right in front of your face 
for the whole time because it, you spend a ton of time in Lyrnia of the Lakes right when you like first start this game. Like you just, it's where you kind of like grind and spend a lot of your time. And also like it's this huge portion of the map. Like Kaled, this uh, everyone's hated place is right there and it takes up a, a pretty good chunk. But Lyrnia is massive. Massive. Uh, but you know what we got to do? Uh, we have to go Kaled now because we need to go to, is it the Fort Faroth? Which fort is it? Yeah, we don't need to go sell. I think it is Fort Fair. We need to go there. We need to kill a giant dragon. All right. There he is. <laughs> so this dragon, huge, right? Jagged, humongous dragon. Uh, he can't move. <laughs> He's so big and so heavy and girthy and old that he just can't move. So. You sit here, and you slap at him, and if you've got something with a bleed on it, you know, we can watch his health. And eventually, it's just going to do some takeies. So, look at that. 13,000 damage with the bleed. He's mad, and he calls his dragon, but if you sit on his back foot, no dragons come to his aid. So we sit here, and we whack, and we just wait for that bleed to proc. And when it procs, then we do massive, thank God. Um, but yeah, really, if you don't have bleed, this guy is essentially impossible. Although you can do it with ice too, but he he is just too grande. You would be sitting here forever if you didn't have bleed. So you know, we built. They're great. When the game first came out, my gosh, bleed was bananas. Um, and everyone was running. And probably is still running, to be fair. The Rivers of Blood Katana, which you get in way late game in the uh, snowfields. Which, like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, if your weapon comes, like, at the end of the game, it's great. But, like, really, you're just doing New Game Plus. Or you're just skipping everything and going straight there. Which you can. Like, if I decided that I wanted to get the Deckless Medals and go... Oh, no, I don't even need the Deckless to go up there because all I need to go is to Elder... Elder... What's it called? The Plateau. And then the snowfields beyond that. Um... But really, I just feel like that's a cheesy way to play the game. To be like, I know I want to do this build and I want to get to that point, so let me go ahead and do that because I'm impatient. <laughs> so here we are playing a I've got my two starting swords weapons, and that's the build we're going with. Because that's the life we like to live. It's also, I don't know, it's kind of challenging, but kind of not too. All right, so we're going to do this right before he, he goes down. We're going to pop this. Pickled, gold pickled foul foot, just as a word to the wise. Um, because once he goes down, we're gonna get a ton of runes, a turn of runes, and it's definitely worth it. So let's go ahead and pop that because he's gonna die in a second. And basically, once he goes down, he gives us all the runes we can possibly want. And we're very happy. We're so happy. Come on, let that bleed proc. There we go. And he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> That's his death moan. Let's see how many do we get. Dragon heart and... Woo! Sweet! Yeah, look at all those... <laughs> those delicious runes. They're not souls. <laughs> They're roots. <laughs> I've been waiting for a long time to do that. I thought about power leveling and just getting it, and I was like, nah, I want to do it in an episode because it's a funny thing to do. And he is uh, an easy way to grab like a bunch of levels, even if you're high level. I'm going to go Dex and a little bit of Arcane. Ooh, you know what? I've got an extra... I think I've got a little shikaki mageggies in there to do that final level. Yeah, use two. And that should be enough to get me, right? I think that's exactly enough. I love that. It's so nice in this game to run around with no runes because if you die, it's like, man, who cares? All right, we'll go up to there. Uh, I'm leveling arcane because a lot of bleed procs off of arcane, um, which is silly, but it's the truth. So I'm mostly dex with this build, but we got a little arcane in there. And this is Fort Farah. Huge problem when you first come in here. Huge problem. So obnoxious. These guys are, especially if you're a melee build, like a me, they're just annoying. 
but our jump attack is quite helpful. Jump. Also, that girl, you see her? No thanks. She just gives you the baby. Gotcha, baby. Yeah, she, these ones are the tough ones. And she hucks barf at us. And she's just mean. Oh, whoops. Ooh, gotcha. Let's put a little bit more feelies. Feely juice. Let's give her some more bleed. And then a little more. And then a jump attack. <laughs> Ooh. She is usually really hard. Goldmer 9. Dang, bro. I know you were packing like that. Um, yeah, she's kind of a pain in the butt. And there's another one right there. That's the funny thing. A lot of times people come to this part really early in the game. And it's just like, it's insanity. If you come here early, just prepare for death. Or just run through. Just don't even mess with anything. Just run through. Which is totally viable, you know? If you just need to get the metal, and you're just like, dude, I don't want to deal with Screechy McGavin over here. Like, just get it. Who cares? You don't need to play this game to please anyone. Play it the way that works for you, dude. I say as I... Oh, I'm poisoned. I have been hit with the poison. Ooh, the poison's not great. I might sneak past since I'm poisoned. See how hard that was? <laughs> if you want to sneak past, sneak past, dude. Takes two seconds. And then once you get past them, they don't follow you. Those girls, they don't climb ladders. They're wangs. They're not conducive to ladders. Can I eat something to reduce my poison? Yeah. Let me, oh, I can't do it on the ladder, apparently. I'm not allowed to. I was like, ooh, that's a neat little trick. Let me do it before anyone comes and attacks me. Because let's be real, someone going to come and attack me. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. Thank you. But check this out. Bam. Jack this medallion right. So, that's all you need to do. Get the Dechalish medal. Alright. Rats. Rats. Oh, there's so many of these friends over here. Oh, did you see that rat? He was such a jerk. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh, that's a sneaky bear. That is a sneaky bear. Keep going jump. Leap. Sneaky rat. Giant sneaky rat. And some blood. And some more blood. Oh, that's she beef. Oh, that blood build. No thanks. No, thank you, rat. Gotcha. Okay. Now, the only reason to go through here is because you can get a little item down here. Hooray, items. Um, and yeah, this one, Radigan's Sore Seal. So, if you go into your Aquama and you're looking for seals, greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. If you're a risky boy, it's not a bad thing to have. I'm not feeling that risky <laughs> because I feel like uh, when I'm talking a lot, which I do in this playthrough, uh, I, I find myself getting hit a lot. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Pardon? Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> ah, I see the outside. And that's it. That's all you got to do for the great, uh, the great, uh, what's it called? The deckless medallion. They are a nice lost grace. All right, we've got to go through here to get up there, basically. Um, we need to get up there so we can use the lift, and then we can fight some people. There's a couple of people that we have to get up there in order to fight. So, we're heading up. Sorry, Barfy boys. Pardon us. Pardon, Barfs. <laughs> Anything up there that I want? I doubt it, but I'm such a curious little kid. I'm going over. Oh, there's a big boy. I don't want any of your skis. Alright, cool. There's nothing down here. Hee <laughs> hee!
Ooh. Golden seed amongst the barfers. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Pardon me, barfers. Shack. Oh, Shack. Give me your shacky goodness. Mythic Stone 5. Ooh, I need those so bad. I love that, dude. I need Smithing Stone 4s. I need Smithing Stone 5s. Perfect. But so this is where we need to go. Because ladders. <laughs> because ladders. <laughs> but really, it's going to help us get all the way to the top. And there's some enemies along the way that aren't super bad, but some that are pretty obnoxious. Just to be real. So we're going to try to get our way through here without too much collateral damage. Because if we end up taking a couple wrong turns, there's some problems. Thanks. Land Octopus Ovary. Is there any item that sounds less appealing to gather than a Land Octopus Ovary? Yummy! <laughs> Going full Ace Winter on that one. Yummy! Alright, cool. Oh, hello, friends. Ooh, yes. Smithing Stone 4. Man, I'm getting close to what I need. Sorry, pardon. So, these guys... Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you need to hit them with the blood because they are big old grumps and you either need to hit them with bludgeoning or blood or you need to backstab them and they take no damage otherwise. So, you know, do what you will with that. You can use a bludgeoning weapon, which is helpful and it like can stagger them pretty quick and it can break through a lot of the shield stuff that they have. Are you a friend? Friend? What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Oh, you little friend. I know there's more of you. Look at him. I you know what? I'm going to do something just to be annoying. <laughs> These are what they use on you. Oh, man. Kukri. They do so much dengage, the Kukris. Um, Easy. So those guys are always... Please. The poison? Pourquoi the poison? <laughs> more smithing one fours. I think that's all I need to upgrade my stuff. 12. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, look at him. He was hiding. He was hiding in the corner. Uh, by the way, every single FromSoft game is notorious for hiding enemies. They're always around the corner. I can't tell you how many times I've finished playing these games and I've like gone upstairs to sleep and on my way up there, ooh, item on the, on the dude's butt. I'm going to come back down and grab that. Um, on my way to sleep, I'm like peeking around corners and I'm like, hmm? <laughs> Who approaches from the east? <laughs> oh, do I really want to go down there again? Oh, I do want that item and watch it be terrible. All right, we're going to do this sneaky. If you look at it from the side, you can get a good idea of where it's coming from. Okay, here it comes. Ready? Ready? Leap! Hee <laughs> hee! We did it. Smithing Stone 5. You know what? That was totally a worthwhile endeavor. Just to be real, I would do that again. 10 out of 10 would jump off the walls again. <laughs> this poison lasts forever, dude. Luckily, it's a weak poison. But still. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I uh, I bonked my microphone. I gave it a, a heckin' bonker. <laughs> you know what I can do right now is I can turn this off. This is going to drive me insane. Ugh. I don't know where that one is. I have tried to find where that one is, and man, look, look on my map. You show me where it is. You show me. Where the heck is that blue marker? I have no idea where that blue marker is. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Couldn't tell you where. No clue. I got distracted. Who goes there, smithing friends? Oh, look at you. See, he's gathering the purple stuff. I don't need purple stuff. <laughs> What's that purple stuff? <laughs> Sunny D commercial from the 90s. Have some of that. Can I sneak around you? Oh, you're going to make it difficult on me. Let's snuck around. And you're gathering purple stuff too? Oh, oh, you're still alive? <laughs> that homie was not prepared to die. It's good thing stone fours. Yeah, the purple stuff, meh. I don't need Gwynstone. I know that's what it's called, but calling it the purple stuff is so much funnier. Are you gathering? You don't even gathering. You just have stuff that's pre-gathered, bud. They don't mess with you if you don't mess with them. Hilarious. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. 
I was going to say, that's a lot of messages for there to be nothing. Okay, let's heal. Don't do it. They're weak, but man, when they get you stunlocked, they can really stunlock you. Woohoohoohoo! Were you prepared for my jump attack? <laughs> Ooh, somber smithing stone 4 and smithing stone 4. What? Uh, look at this homie. He's like, hmm, who dares approach? Have some blood. Oh no! Look at him! Did he kill me? Oh, I'm alive. I need to heal. Whoa, that was a close one. See how gromps those guys are? Oh, you're alive. Gotcha. With the blurred. With the blurred. <laughs> uh. Leap. The leap attack is so effective on him. Leap attack. Man, I'm learning this episode that the leap attack is the hidden wonder of the world over here. Leap attack. Oh, I love it. This weapon is turning out to be kind of fun! Okay. All those guys are gone. I can grab this- Oh my lord, I just got unpoisoned. And it's all for lightning grease? I mean, to be fair, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm not complaining about lightning grease, but man, I'm poisoned for every- Every five seconds I'm poisoned. Whoa! Somber Smithing Stone fours. Once again, Somber Smithing Stones are for the weapons that you get with boss souls. Yay! I made it! Oh, I love the sights in this game. They're so great. I'm just resting so I can get rid of the poison. Because poison sucks! Sweet. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, baby. That's where we're going, right there. Bing, bang, boom. That's where we're going. Um, because that is where we use the lift. The grand lift. Whee! And that opens up a lot of the game for us. Because then we can start fighting some other bombs. We're getting closer to the actual, like, part of this game. Which is crazy to think. We're only, what, four episodes in? This is our fourth episode? Ours? <laughs> As a community? <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, there's a bat. That guy fell. <laughs> that guy fell. Hello, bat. Have some blood. Yes. Oh. Lead on this thing, it's awesome. Seriously, if you haven't tried this, fun build. It's mobile, it's quick, it does a pretty good chunk of damage, too. Like, really, that's a lot of damage to be doing at this stage in the game. Have it. And with that bloody slash, you have the range to, like, actively reach a lot of the flappers, which is always the problem with melee builds. The flappers are always the problem. Great. Um, yeah, they seriously, they are like the bane of your existence if you build melee. Ooh, what's down you? Ladder. <laughs> ha! This game. Oh, it leads to treasurous wonders and wondrous treasures. Um, uh, I swear this game. That's all it is? It's just this? Okay, can I just bump past you? Pardon me. I want none of your business. Anything delicious down here? Uh, somber smithing stone fours. Not worth my time unless I decide to really change up my build. Never gonna use somber smithing stone. Also, come at me if I'm running too slow on some of these precipices. That is the way that you die in this game. <laughs> that is the surefirest of deaths. I can't tell you that. I feel like that is. Ooh, oh, pardon me. That is the the biggest killer in this game. It's just falling. You fall from a big old height, and it's a problem. We gotta go all the way up there, dude. Look how tall we gotta get, right? We gotta get so tall. So tall. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure singing, singing gals in here. You hear them? They're so creepy, the singer. Thank you for your golden rune and your smithing stone force. Look at her. Doesn't she just look ominous? And look, there's friends up there. There's one here. They're t they always try to sneak. But you know what we do? We throw the cuckoos. Come on, baby. And slice. Oh, look, and the friends approach. Approach, friend. Come to me. Ooh, you gotta love the leaps. Can I get you too? Man, I'm digging these cuckoos. Never use them. They're sweet. Come on. He's done the tumble. 
And then his friend approaches? No? Oh, but Mama does. Come on. Oh, there, there he is. Let's do a little heal before I get poison. Don't give me the poison. Leap attack. Ooh, I hit her with the sauce. Oh, I missed her with the sauce. <laughs> Bad news, the sauce is missed. <laughs> I've got tear on the news. I've missed the sauce. Oh, she's poisoned me again. Well, then I can just leap in and do my whoop. Oh, she be slapping. Leap attack. Dude, leap attack. So mobile. So leapy. The best. I love that. Seriously. Oh, I can't wait to leap myself to freedom over here. <laughs> leap myself to lordship. Leaping lord. <laughs> oh, I have to decide whether or not I'm going to do some of the obstacle bosses in this game too. Because some of them are huge pains in the butt. Some of them are really fun. I also just like challenges. But I feel like I probably will end up doing most of them. If not all of them. Because I love a good challenge. Batman. <laughs> Didn't even mean to call him that. Oh, I love that. Batman. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I heard a singer. Come on, bud. Are we pussyfooting around over here? Leap attack. Oh my god. Camera. No. Camera. No. Camera. Uh, camera. No. My leap attack almost betrayed me. Jeez, Batman. How could you do this to me, Bat? Where are you, Sanger? Sanger! Are you hiding over here? No, nope, that's just Smithers. Ooh, another four. I don't need any more fours. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm maxed out on fours. Uh, that's awesome. Singing lady. Where you at, singing lady? I hear your beautiful song. I just want to be friends. Friends with Stabbit. Oh, there she is. Where's all your friends? Where's all your dudes? I know that they've got to be around somewhere. You're not calling this the octopus. Her song is so... Oh, there's two. That's what that is. She doesn't have friends because there's two. Come on. Come to Padre. Ooh, have a little blood. A little bonus blood. Oh, she be harping. Oh, she harping. No, thank you. She's, she's, she's gooping the gaps. Oh, she's sneaky. Oh, look at her little helmet. She's a wizard berry. <laughs> she was so wizardy. <laughs> oh, well, we killed her. What were you guarding? You had to be guarding something good, right? Oh, smithing stone three is the worst thing there, possibly. Oh, you were guarding a shortcut? Is this a shortcut? Totally a shortcut. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, shortcut up. You don't mind if I up? That's great. I'm curious what was down that ladder over there, but you know what? I'm not that curious. Actually, I can just run back over there. Let me go see what was up that ladder. If it's nothing, you won't know nothing about it. But since those girls are dead, might as well take advantage of their deaths. And just see what's going on in here. Yeah. Oh, I love to explore. Exploring is so fun. Look at the ladder. <clears throat> octopus? Is that what I'm going towards? Am I going towards octopus? I am going towards the octopus. Octopus! <laughs> uh, they, they were a problem. So, land octopus. Those guys right there. That dude right there. Um, if you don't kill them quickly, or if you just, like, let them eat their tentacles. They just regain health, uh, which is a pain in the butt. Come on. Approach me. I'm killing your children. Terrible sentence. Ooh, look at him. Oh, we jumped. Look at him. He's bananas. Oh my god. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm healing. Look at that. Camera. Final boss. Come at me. Say I'm wrong. I only have two more heals. But he's gonna- yeah, he's gonna start eating that. And then we come in and we give him the sauce. And the business. And the business sauce. <sighs> Thanks, bud. Ooh, more ovaries. Oh, 
Thanks, bud. Smithing stone threes. Don't need those. Serpents, gods, curved sword. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet looking weapon. But we get at least this. Totally worth it, by the way, to go back here. Smithing stone four. Don't really need those, but whatever. That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind that we got it. And then we can go back up. And then we've got that sweet side of grace up there. Ooh, it's magic. <laughs> I don't know why I got so panicky with that and then went straight into some glorious jams. Oh. All right, let's get back up there. All right. Let's move on through then, friends. Hello, boss wall of fun. Oh, I could summon a friend. Who is it? Great Horned Dragon. <gasps> oh, do I want to summon him? It's for the patches stuff. Uh, I don't really like having friends for bosses, but just this once. I'll allow it because it's for patches. Uh, come on, buddy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm blithe. I'm impatient. They call me blithe. Hey, what's going on, friend? Let's go, Great Horned Targoth, or Tragoth. And then it's the giant boy. Be ready for him? Here it comes. Here comes giant boy. Look at him. You see him just... Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I already beat one of these guys in the... Um, whoops. In the... What's it called? The tunnels. Because I wanted to get sword because I'm green. But this bleed build is functional with him. So, let's see if we can get some bleed. Oh, he be slapping. Come on. No thanks. No thanks, friend. Have some salts. Man, he is a lot healthier this time around. But he's also just as predictable. Oh, I got hit by his back leg. He done his back leg on me, baby. Let me get some heels on it. Nope. Mistakes. Oh, no mistakes. I don't know why I... Oh, he's wounded. Let me get to your face. I love doing these things. These things are so fun. Stay in the eyeball. It really doesn't even do that much damage. It's just kind of fun to do. Whoops. Nope. Nope, I don't want anything to do with that. Ooh, god dang, bruh. There's a lot of dangage. Too much dangage. Look at him with his flaming sword. Forgot about this face. Awesome face. No thanks. You keep your barfs. Don't he barf. Nope. Oh, he's, he's hucking. He's hucking. Have some blood. He's fucking. That's more blood. Give him a little extra blood. Oh, he flipped. Oh, that was awesome. I can't even be mad about it. Oh, he's dead. Come on. Let's kill him with this. Yes. I never get a kill with the, like, the finishing blows. There he goes. Because his greatsword is really cool. Thanks, bud. You were, I mean, he was targeting me the whole time, but I continue to patch his quest line, so I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> Yes! Oh, we made it to the top. That's flipping awesome, dude. Oh. And, let's get one more level in us. But, basically, that is going to be where I end this episode. I'm super pumped because we're going to do this, and then there's a big old boss a little bit later, and then we're going to get way to the top of the game. So thanks for coming along with me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! We're getting glorious. Getting up to mischief. Don't wait, cause we're coming in hot Let's eat some biscuits, let's get glorious Glorious Mischief